What exactly is going on with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements? Hey, fragrance family, I'm David. I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a video that I am curious about just because I have no idea what is going on with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Lately, they've been killing it, and I really wanna know what is going on. Now, my association with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements goes back a few years at StyleCon in Atlanta when I met Douglas Smythe, the owner. I met him at StyleCon, and he actually gave me a little decant of something that he was working on. It smelled great. And then later on, I went on to make an aftershave video, which I featured his products on. But lately, they've really been doing some incredible things, and I want to talk about some of those today. Part of my fascination with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements comes from this right here, and this is Meta Nectar, and I believe this was a limited edition at the time. Now it's a permanent stay in their collection. Meta Nectar is an oriental style fragrance that is has vanilla and kind of pays homage to Atars. And if you like anything like that, if you like maybe Feva Delicious by Dior or maybe Shalimar by Guerlain, I think that you will really like like this. I love this. And this is their Eau de Parfums. Of course, they have aftershaves and shave soaps and everything you need with shaving. They have a ton of products, and I want to go over some of those today. But really, first, I didn't know that they had this, but they have limited edition fragrances. This one is called Irish Springs. And if you like Irish Spring soap, it smells very, very similar to that. I really love this. This was a limited edition in March, along with Bailey's, which is a Bailey's Irish cream type of smell. It smells amazing. It smells like coffee and rum and cream and it is incredible. Then later I found out they have a limited edition scent called Rocket Ramen, which smells like ramen, which seems disgusting. So of course I had to get it. I had to get Rocket Ramen and it smells great. It smells like ramen. <laughs> Oh man, it smells good. <laughs> then also in March, they had a limited edition of Twee, which was their version of Green Irish Tweed. And I didn't really need Green Irish Tweed, so I didn't get that, but then it got me thinking, they have other products, the soaps, the shampoos, everything in their product line fashioned after that. So I went down the rabbit hole and looked at other things that they have. Turns out they have their own version of doppelgangers. The doppelganger line is their version of kind of clones of popular fragrances. The first thing that I saw was they have doppelganger gray. So I got it in their deodorant, which is an amazing sport deodorant. And then I got it in their solid shampoo. This is a shampoo puck. It's kind of like soap that you lather it in your hair. Great shampoos. Love these. Then I saw they have doppelganger F-bomb. And this one, of course, is named after Tom Ford effing fabulous. Then they have Doppelganger Gold, which is their version of Creed's Royal Mayfair. And then Doppelganger Black, which is their version of Dior Sauvage. And how do all these smell? They smell freaking great. I haven't smelled effing fabulous in a long time, but this really takes me back to that. Their Gold, which is supposed to smell like Royal Mayfair, smells strikingly like Royal Mayfair. They did a great job on this. This one smells exactly like Sauvage. And their Gray, I think, even though it's probably the weakest in the line, smells pretty good. And it smells close to Aventus. Maybe not exactly, but pretty close. And I bring this Doppelganger line up because if you want product, that smell like a fragrance that you have, the only choice that you usually have is to go to that website and see if they sell it for a fortune, and it might not even be good. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements has products that are great. Their deodorants are fantastic, some of the best deodorants I've ever tried. Their shaving soaps, if you like wet shaving, are absolutely phenomenal. I love them, I use them a lot. Their solid shampoos are fantastic. These last a long time, and they're great on your hair. But that is not all they have going on. I went down even further to see what else they have, and I've followed them for a last few months heavily to see what they have released for limited releases. And they had some really great ones. Hold on. Great ones like these, this trilogy right here, this trilogy of scents. La Tierra Mojada, which smells like petrichor and rain and flowers. Uh, Megaflora, which is a floral type of scent. And then Tetra Preta, which is a vetiver type of scent with real vetiver in here. And then a couple of other ones that I just got, Rabbit Banana, which smells like banana Laffy Taffies or banana high chews or something like that. It smells great. And then Son of a Honeysuckle, probably one of the best, if not the best honeysuckle scent I've ever tried. Honeysuckle is one of those scents that I'm always on the look for. This one has it, and it smells fantastic. They also resurrect old style aftershaves and fragrances. And this is another thing that I think is really cool. Though I'm not a fan of just clones, there is a case to be made about cloning a fragrance that doesn't exist anymore, to have it available to people that can't get it anymore. And this is one of those. This is Hotel Cecil. And Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements wrote the book on making and resurrecting old style fragrances. And I literally mean they wrote the book. He wrote a book called Hotel Cecil. <laughs> now, Hotel Cecil, if you're not aware, has a very, very 
wild story. I believe it's in either San Francisco or Los Angeles, one of those two, in California. Hotel Cecil, just go look it up. Hotel Cecil smells like an old bygone era aftershave called Burma Shave. And it smells great, very powdery, old school type of smell. I actually really like this a lot. And then just recently, he actually released this one right here, which is called Fresco. And this is resurrecting an old, old spice fragrance called Fresh. And it's not the fresh that you get in the stores today. It's an old one that was out, I believe in the 80s or 90s. It is excellent. Very, very bright, fresh, blue uh, type of scent that reminds you kind of of that kind of Old Spice uh, era. I remember getting this scent back in the day when it was available and really loving it and haven't been able to find anything uh, like it since. And also with Fresco, he actually wrote a book on this one as well. And it's like an actual mini novella, which is pretty cool. Currently though, they have a couple of other limited release releases that I really am interested in, and maybe you can try this. They have one called Immortal Peach, which is a juicy peach type of fragrance. Then they have another one called Aloha Smackdown, <laughs> which is based on the smell of Hawaiian Punch, the drink. Overall, I really love Phoenix Arizona accoutrements. I really love what they're doing. They have tons of products. A lot of them I haven't even shown you, but what I really love about them is they go out of their way to make these excellent scents. Some of them are unique scents they make that I I think are fantastic, like Future Fiction right here, which I think is a great fresh scent, and of course like Meta Nectar right here, which I absolutely love. Others of course are Resurrections, like Hotel Cecil or Fresco right here, and still others are the clones, and even though I probably will never buy the Eau de Parfums, which are available, I still really like that they have these type of scents in other products that I can use alongside the fragrances that I already have. But besides making great products, and great limited releases, and really interesting scents, since that you will not find anywhere else. If that were not enough, I just really like their aesthetic. I think they have just a really cool kind of 50s, 60s type of aesthetic, very sci-fi, very pulp fiction. I really love this whole kind of perspective that they have. It's beautiful. It gets me. I love it. I don't know what's going on at Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements, but I think that you need to check them out because I am enthralled by them right now. <laughs> Anyway, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments what you think of Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements. I'd love to hear your thoughts and definitely go check them out. I'll have links down below to them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.